Hello there, and welcome to episode... <laughs> Indeed, episode <laughs> of the Buglock. 13, I think we're on. Unlucky for some, but not for us. What do you want? <laughs> I think he sticks his booty out quite a bit, don't you? Super nerd wants to fight. Like, let's be honest. Let's Super be honest. nerd. That... That pose, right there, could totally be in, like, some sort of seducti seductive music video. Oh, yeah. Good God. What? He's just vibing at the party. He's literally, like, you know those um, sort of generic American films that you used to get in, like, the early 2000s where there'd always be that one fat guy that's like, woo! That's it. To the tune of Put Your Hands Up for Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> That literally would whoop at anything. Oh, look at his look at his uh, his eyes as well. Wonky and, eyes. Yeah. Oh heavens. Yeah. So I did. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having wonky eyes. Oh no, certainly not. Muck. Oh god. Please don't ruin me. Oh. No, he just wants he just wants a high five. He's like up top. Give me a hug. That's not to it. Oh, that's, that's... Don't you sludge. That's always a question I wondered. Don't you sludge. Where did... Where did Pokemon poop from? I don't think... It's ever been brought up. Exactly. Like, they have food. But where does it go? Um... It There's no Pokemon toilet center. <laughs> toilet center. Do they poop in the Pokeball? Possibly. And how? And if so, how does it get cleaned? Maybe them. There's some kind of magical, efficient animals that don't need to poop. Is that what Trubbish is? It's a collection of Pokemon turds. Yes. Not forgetting his big brother Garbodor. Oh mate, have you seen G? Ma uh, <laughs> yeah, G Max uh, Garbodor. It's got a like bow and a building stuck in him. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the <seen> plane. <laughs> well, you know, sometimes you just get too big for your britches and you have to <laughs> absorb the world. Yeah. Um, I am literally a pile of like... crap. <laughs> uh, it's like, what is it? It's um... Oh, good God, there's four of them. Oh, you forgot about them. We must look um... silly standing here like this. As long as you don't have any uh, fire yes, types, or flying types, or poison types, or rock types, I think we'll be good. Get a good guard. Or, or any types. So, so you just have nothing. Just, just come out with you with air. I, um, I can handle water types. <laughs> breathe on them. <laughs> handle water types. And to a lesser extent, grass types. Sanded. Well, fire time. That's a lot. Absolutely not. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's, it's one of those things. It's like we, they've never addressed where they poop from. They have not. Um, you, you've never addressed what's in the Pokemon food. Um, at all. I thought we'd figured it out that it was other Pokemon. Yeah, but that's what we assume. But it's a, it's the same as dog food, isn't it? Really, like gibble. Dog food's made of other dogs. Oh, good God! No, um, no, it's not made of other dogs. I mean, that would be horrible, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. Oh, I've been. But it's, but you know, it, it, it's one of those things. It's a case of like, you know, it, it looks like in the Pokemon universe, it looks like they eat kibble, but the people eat it too. So I don't know what that means. Yeah, you see a lot of poker blocks, don't you? Or like. Cat, like candies or whatever they're called. Yeah, I, I didn't think that we as people could eat dog food. I didn't think it was suitable for us. Or maybe it is, I don't know. I personally have never eaten dog food. No, I've never eaten pet food either. I mean, you know, I guess if it, if it came to it in a pinch, food's food, right? But, I don't know. I mate. guess so. Like, let, let's be honest, if you were starving... Uh, and, like, let's say a part of a building had fell on you, for example. Which would be horrible anyway. <laughs> you know, these standard everyday occurrences. 
honestly, that's the only... That's the, this is legitimately the only scenario I can imagine where you would actually not be able to get escape, where you would actually have to eat dog food. I'm going to be honest. Um, because any other time, you can literally walk out to the shops. Um, that's it. Or get someone else to walk out to the shops for you. If you were in uh, otherwise dire straits. Exactly. Um, so it's a case of, let's say, a part of a building had fell on you and nobody else was around and nobody checked on you. Um, I need to go heal. But, nah. And the closest thing towards you was dog food and that's all you could survive on until somebody found you. You know, that's... You know, it'd be interesting if you could survive off it. I mean, you'd need water, definitely, but... Oh, yeah, you know. but... Yeah. Because dog food's always dry and... Uh, it seems to be. But, yeah, I guess it's just like, same as cat food, it's, you know, like, various meats and, and gravy or whatever. Yeah. Oh, God, that's a coughing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, how did you only just realise that? I was more concerned that it might have self-destruct. Don't have self-destruct, please. That'd be really bad. Well, it don't matter now, it's dead. Regards to what my Pokemon did, I nearly fainted the last time I got self-destructed on. But valid point, toughed it out. Weren't you, like, massively tough for power in Quarus? Um, not massively, I wouldn't say. Guess with self-destruct, I'm sure this is, like, Gen 1 and 2. With self-destruct, uh, its base power is, like, I don't know, 150, something like that. But it drops the opponent's defense in half. That means nothing to me. It's got 300 base damage. Which that is. That means nothing to me. Um, for comparison, Flamethrower's got 95 base damage. Okay. And the moves I'm using are significantly lower than, <laughs> than 95. And 95 base power. Bug type move. I'll be lucky. Uh, I'll take your word for it because um, you know I'm only making sure that you suffer and, and suffer, enjoy your suffer, bug, enjoy. Uh, bug type Pokemon. Bug for life. I mean, let's face it. You know, you love these creatures so much. Oh God, yeah. You can see if you can do it. Bug type's great. Meow, meow, meow. <laughs> Meow 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 okay. meow 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 um, meow 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 I'll see myself out. Guess yeah, I reckon um I think Mrs. was saying that she's reasonably sure that for cat food they have like cat food testers, like people that taste it to make sure that it, you know, tastes alright. Do they? Yeah, I think so. I thought they'd just get some cats, which would make so much more sense. Do you like because this? In this case of... <laughs> yeah, it, that's just it. It's like, put four bowls of cat food in front of a cat and goes, which one do you want? <laughs> and then monitor it and just make sure it's all right. And it's not like, you know, an explosive amount of weight gain. Or weight loss. Getting all the exercise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> or explosive you diarrhea know, or make sure any of those other good things. Yeah, and just, you know, give it the same amount of each one and see, like, you know, that's what I thought they'd do, which would make so much more sense. And it's not animal abuse in any way, because obviously, in the case of you're making food for them, you're making sure that, obviously, that it fits their diet and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. I think it just makes way more sense. All you're doing is feeding cats all day. You know, it's like, what? where's the cruelty in that? Whereas you, you're basically going, oh yeah, are you a really weird human being that <laughs> basically um, would do anything for money? Yes, <laughs> then eat cat food. <laughs> um, There's other avenues to explore before eating cat food. I can't imagine what those job sort of... Uh, like those job ads would look like. <laughs> just like, how would you, 
How would you advertise that? Do you care about what you put in your mouth? No. <laughs> then come on down to Can Cat you Co. taste? Yes. <laughs> can you taste? Can you taste? Yes. yes. Can... <laughs> yeah, that's just it. Can you taste? Yes. Would you eat anything? Yes. Uh, do you need money? Yes. Then eat cat food and we'll pay you. Um, tell us how it tastes. Texture and all. It's like, what? Not down here. No. Is it... And it does make you question, though. Like, do you need to have... Depending on what type of cat food they make you test. Do you need to have teeth? Do you need to have teeth? I mean, it's always good to have teeth. Oh, yeah. I get... I, obviously, it's good to have teeth. <laughs> Science has confirmed this, apparently. Um, um, yeah, that's a We needed I'm all this support. evolution to realise teeth are necessary. Um, <laughs> teeth, um, good. But, you, you know. <laughs> I can see the scientific paper now. Can confirm. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's, it's one of those things that's case of, obviously, as you get older, um, and your teeth fall out and stuff like that, because it's case of, let's face it, that happens with time. Um... You know, um, it's it's just a case of, um, because obviously you chew, like we chew it as people, but cats don't. Do cats have this, like as many teeth as we do? I think so. I'm not sure if um, they have like baby teeth. Those have to be tiny teeth. Because you've got to make sure that it's soft enough, haven't you? Yeah. So speaking from experience, like, you know, I've got a very old cat and a very young cat. And, well, the very old cat doesn't let me look in his mouth terribly often, but I don't think he's missing I'm not any. surprised with those beefy fingers of yours. I don't think he's missing many, if any, teeth. Uh, adult cats have 30 permanent teeth and kittens have 26. Aww. Uh Deciduous? Deciduous? I assume that means... It's not something to do or, with a tree. No, also <laughs> also known as primary, baby, or milk teeth. Oh. And let's see how many... And humans have 32 teeth in total, 12 more than their baby set. It's so, yeah. about even, pretty much. Yep. So basically, if you um, if you ever get in a fight with a house cat, just think you might win. You've got more teeth. Um. <laughs> punch it in the mouth. That you can afford to lose a few. No, I don't. I, I don't condone animal no, cruelty don't in punch any way. A cat. Um. And if you like listening to us talk about cats' teeth, then you'll love our other stuff. I'm reasonably sure. So please drop us a like and a subscribe and a comment, and you know. Let us know how you're finding us. Polywag always looks weird, though. Doesn't it? Why is his mouth like, you can look totally really tell on that one? It's like, mm. <laughs> no, because that's where it was. That's that's where its mouth was, wasn't it? But uh, everybody was like, "Oh no, that weird bit in the middle is its uh, mouth." And it's like, no, that is not a mouth. That's actually its like intestines. Yeah, like yeah, that's uh, that is true for like tadpole biology, isn't it? You can like see through them, mm. basically, like yeah. translucent. And that's actually, yeah. And that swirl is supposed to be like their intestines and all the poop going through it. So you know, which you know, it, it's a bit weird that that um they went. You know what? Even though this is supposed to look like a tadpole, let's make it fully look like a tadpole and make it have a poo swirl. And it's like a poo, <laughs> let, let... A poo swirl. I mean, what 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 else would you call it, really? I mean, let's be honest. It's grown up, and it's got still got a poo swirl. I mean, <laughs> doesn't make any sense, especially as it doesn't have a bum. <laughs> like, where's it poo from? Like, imagine having permanent poo swirl. Oh heavens! So, are, are you saying if uh, if a polywag, you know, as a movement, will say, um, then? There wouldn't be anything on its tummy, it'd just be like white. Yeah. Is that what we're saying? That's effectively what it would be. Fair. Because, I mean, let's let's be honest. Oh, if there's nothing it's... there. Yeah, if there's nothing there, then what can it. Like, what can it show? 
Yeah, that's true. I mean, I assume, I assume that they've always got a poof twirl because let's face it, you know, um, everything's always eaten. Our bowels are never like fully empty. Way hammering a in the tunnels does work sometimes. Well, I assume anyway that our bowels are never like not fully empty at any given time. I don't know. It's it's a weird thought, isn't it? Like just thinking, are your intestines ever really empty? And the answer is probably not. Let's be honest. Who would really want to find out? That's it, because you've always got food in you, haven't you? You're always digesting some of it. Let's face it, are you... Who who would honestly want to go, th like, get somebody who's, like, dead and then just squeeze out their intestines to see if anything <laughs> come out? It's like, nobody. Nobody would, because that would be very unclean and would be a um, very dirty job. <laughs> a job that you would probably want to bleach your skin afterwards. Like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, it would. It would be a tube of pooey toothpaste. Toothpaste, if you will. <laughs> you wouldn't want to brush your teeth with that, though. Oh, God, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> Do you enjoy having shit breath? Well, <laughs> well, you better keep out of Team Rocket's way in that case. <laughs> What happened to your voice then? That was like, you better start out the way. Uh, calm down, Rich. Let's. <laughs> coin oh, is this the casino? Let's go and get a coin case, Porygon. So let's just see if I can get a Scyther. I'm. And like, the answer is no. 98% sure that I can't, but you gave me hope a couple of episodes. Oh. Uh, no, it was a pincer. What's up? Want some coins? Oops, forgot the coin case. Some One of you nerds gives me a coin case, I'm pretty sure. Or is it? I feel like there's a cafe somewhere. Hey, you have better things to do, champ in the making. Tell her on City's gym leader is Erica. She uses grass types. She might appear docile, but don't be fooled. I'm having a... Wouldn't you, like, time. basically... Wouldn't you basically be fine against her? Um, well, they're, um, most of the team's grass poison. Hmm. Which, um, you know, being bug type, exclusively bug type, and being weak to poison in this gen, is uh, a bit of an issue. But we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Rock you! First of all, I want to go and grab a coin case. You are right, pal? Oh, I blew it all at the slots. I knew I should have cashed in my coins for prizes. Well, that was informative. What are you saying? What are you staring at? What are you staring at? I love you, nerd. Sure, it's someone in here. No idea. The man at that table lost it all at the slots. Yeah, it's this dude. Go ahead, laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! What am I laughing at? I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. Hey. What are you saying? The one thing I don't get away. is effectively that this fellow who sat there at the restaurant is like, oh yeah, I blew it all, but here's, here's me gorging myself. Like, you've not blown it all then, you've got something. Not the worst in the world. I thought you were going to uh, raise the point where a guy's just like bankrupted himself and he's like, well, here's a small child. Um, start gambling, pal. Because I couldn't possibly, because I'm broke. Nah, I think that we, um, we as a society get, um, now at least, are very um, are kind of given... Uh, the chat, the opportunity. Sorry, uh, to uh, and I'm using that in quotes. Opportunity, opportunity <laughs> uh, to uh, gamble at a very early age, and then it's like, oh, why don't you spend mum and dad's money? And it's like, oh, don't do that. Ah, loot boxes and, that's, and such that's, have you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, that's why you always hear about stuff like going, oh yeah. This kid spent ten thousand dollars on 
at pincer. these things. Told you it'd be a pincer. Okay. At least you can get another pincer. Well, that's true. And I can also get a pincer in the safari zone. Yep. But, you know, it's it's one of those things that I get it. I get that, like, um, it's kind of like Pokemon Santa of, like, already kind of when, you know what, this will happen <laughs> and people will be okay with it. And it's <laughs> like now it, it has happened and people are okay with it, even when they aren't. It has happened. Oh, look at that overworld snow likes. Look at how cute he looks. He looks, he looks weird. Why has he got grass coming off his face? Oh, it's just a trick of the light there, pal. It's just a trick of the light that he's got three green pixels on each side coming off his face. Yeah, mate. Trick of light. But yeah, you know, it's... It's one of those things like, um, okay, <laughs> how do you get in? Good effort. <laughs> what? Um, Breaking and entering is fun. Yay! <laughs> they use it on B drill. Two of the most able Pokemon with wings cannot use fly. Who knows? Maybe Venomoth. What a shame. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let me know. But yeah, you know, it's it's a case of like, there's a lot of like really ridiculous things that happen now that like everyone's like, oh yeah, this has happened, casually happened. And it's like, honestly, if that happened when, um, when like, uh, Hitting a child was the norm. Um, <laughs> okay. You, you know this, what? This I, took a turn. No, you know what? I, <laughs> no, you know exactly what I mean. Like, let's face it. Um, when we were growing up, um, and it was like a case of you are likely to get a, if you did something bad, you were more likely to get a slap, weren't you? Let's be honest. Oh, Evans, yeah. And so it's a case of if your pet, like, and it's a case of. Obviously, it depended on how bad you were, depending on A, how hard it was, and B, how long you were grounded for. And how, and if it was really bad, you'd get repeated ones. Like, repeated that. You know? Because that's, that's literally how it was. Um, and then it's a case of, if you, somebody, like, let's face it, in days like, in time like now, if somebody went, if you somehow spent ten thousand pounds for example which these that's sort of amount being spent on like friggin uh in-app purchases and stuff isn't ridiculous oh yeah that's so ridiculous um you know that that amount of money of... that's like you know a, a huge amount of money to be spending on like a mobile game yeah but that's like that's so accessible and easy to do that's so much yeah but it, it's it's entirely possible isn't it yeah so it's a case of let's face it if you'd done that when you were a kid you would have been beaten to the inch of your life and then you'd have to work it off and you'd, and you'd be grounded for like the rest of the decade imagine spending like just straight up 10 grand like on a game it's like in a short space no. of time like, I can't either that, that's actually unfathomable to me <laughs> Well, that's mad, well, isn't it, of... when you think about it? Jesus. It's, it's just numbers on a screen, though, isn't it? <laughs> Doesn't mean I don't. Yeah, but then it's the potential. You know, what can you do with 10 grand? It's not... Oh, can we get any info from here? I don't know if we can use it, but... Yeah, but let, let's be honest. If you don't have the concept of... Uh... Get together with your friends and trade right. Pokemon. No! <laughs> <laughs> Stolen? <laughs> Just admitting 
that you've robbed an Eevee. There. Well, I have. It's just on the table. No one said I could have it. It was just there, and I went, right, I'm having it. Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> but you know what I mean, isn't it? It's a case of if you don't have a concept of money yet. Like, let's face it, when we were when we were younger, we were like... Ten pounds was so much when we were young. Exactly. But it's a case of if you don't realise, if you don't recognise what money is and its value, then, you know, that's it. It's just a case of you don't mean all. It's numbers. So, it's just one of those things. Yeah, I don't think we'd have got away with uh, spending like 10 grand on something like that as a youth. Or well, spending 10 grand on anything as no. a youth, really. I don't know. I think it depends if it was a good purchase or not. <laughs> but, you know, let, let's face it. Let's be honest. Like, if you went and spent 10 grand and then. But you'd somehow invested in like Microsoft or Apple, for example. You know, just for the sake of damn it of being out there, and you, because you, in theory, you are spending that money. Yeah. Um. And we can get rid of flashes for of, the time being. It's a case of at that point you'd be. It would have been like, I can't believe you've done this. How, how dare you? Why did you do that? And then it's a case of literally like, probably like. Five years later, they'd be like, oh my god, you are fantastic. Can't believe you made this much. Um, <laughs> Not so much if you're like, hey, Ma, Pa, I've spent 10 grand. What, what have you spent it on? Um, uh, used Nissan Cherry. Maybe not so much. I spent it on V-Bucks. Um, <laughs> just like, no. I do, I do like the whole um, casino sort of uh, aspect to this game. I don't think it's necessary. I'm not gonna lie. Because why would you remake Vegas in a Pokemon game? Let's be honest. That's uh, true. The real one's probably bad enough. They did um, um, patch it out. Well, I say patch it out. When they released the Gen 2 remakes, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, they did replace the hmm. like gambling, like slot machine thing with like a card game, like a matching sort of game. Auto flip, really good, and probably uh, conversely to what it's meant to be, really addictive. <laughs> um, that's still just as bad. But it's not slot machines, so it's not glamorising him. What's going on here then? What it's... are you looking at? <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. You, I mean, that's Are you sexist. just peep, um, like, peeping through the window? Oh, he turned round and oh. Oh, God. Right. To be honest, his front doesn't look any different from his back. No, it doesn't really, does it? Other than obviously his face isn't there. Right. Are we going to set sail in uh, Erica's gym? I think we are. I think we are. You are not allowed in here. Well, I just wanted to let you know there's like a creepy old man looking through a window outside it is. You might want to, you know... And you're all wearing, apparently, skimpy clothes. <laughs> yeah. You might want to, you know, let the authorities know. That's, you know... Look at Bellsprout. Bellsprout either looks like... You know when you're about to dip your foot into cold water? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, and you're just ooh, like, oh, you're about, like, about to test the water. <laughs> so, do I, don't um, I? Ooh. <laughs> or trying to seductively show off his leg. Da, da, da. Those are the only... Those are the only things that I can see from... Bellsprout there. Oh! Why does it look like that weeping bell's um, been run over by a steamroller? It does look like it's been run over, like, on the front. Like, just partially, not all the way. Yeah. It also looks like it would, like, wave uh, hysterically at you. Just to say hello. Hello. You know, like, when you have, like, a... Like a really flop, like floppy sort of hand, like hand motion wave. I don't have to take this limp wristed twaddle. <laughs> I mean, you kind of do. Um, <laughs> so you know. Oh, good god! See, look again, a very short outfit. Yeah. Also, you don't see many of those um, trainer types. 
No, you don't. Did they? They, they probably got um, redone. Like, I, I think there's a trainer type called Gambler, and they got renamed to Gamer. I guess, yeah. I, I assume that's just moving with time, so. Yeah, yeah. that's it. See, look, you, look, you'll see it now. Dip its foot in the water or showing off its leg. Da, 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 da. That, that water's too cold. Um, <laughs> <laughs> too damn cold. <laughs> Oddish. But we've kind of got used to the, the horrifying nature of Oddish now, haven't we? It just reminds me of a turnip. Or a beetroot. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's got that, definitely got that sort of vibe going on. Yeah. I feel like I read something that based on like a mandrake, which the only other thing that I know a mandrake from is Harry Potter. Yeah, but Harry Potter was just ridiculously over the top, wasn't it? With the mandrake. Like, don't get me wrong, it was interesting. It was interesting as a concept, but um, it's not my personal favourite thing of all time. And on the next episode, Deck will lay into Harry Potter some more. I'm not really laying into <laughs> it. I'm just saying, like, it's not my cup of tea, but I can see why people enjoy it. Yeah. So, yeah. Until then, see you next time. Take care. Bye.